We'll find another word here. Miles Meller may be at home in Carl's bed, but his mind is working on words associated with Malibu. R-U-M. He's the king of crosswords, and he ships these puzzles all over the world. I have a wonderful job. He's published 16,000 puzzles. You've been in all these magazines? Yeah. 600 magazines in all, and 45 yeah. books. Halle Berry, yeah. George Clooney, yeah. on the cover of your book. Yes. Born in England, Miles was private school educated. Whenever you say you're born in Oxford, people think you're smart. I can tell you one thing he is, thoughtful. When his mother died, Miles started sending puzzles across the pond to his father to cheer his dad up. He was so happy to get them. It, was just, it really made his day. Miles wanted to write puzzles professionally, and, but his wife, Debbie, wasn't so sure. What did she tell you? She said, don't quit your day job. <laughs> He sent thousands of crosswords out to newspapers. Absolutely nothing happened. Luckily, he had thick skin and thick books. This is the million word crossword dictionary. All of these words led Miles to a discovery. We're talking finance, we're talking computing. People wanted custom crafted crosswords. I write sailing puzzles, engineering puzzles. Even personal puzzles about everyday people. They will email me, you know, the, where they first met, the first date. From weddings to anniversaries. You're just like me. <laughs> Miles wants to dig into your life for good material. <laughs> That's right. As for his wife, Debbie, first she fell in love with his English accent. I had to marry him. Then it was the paychecks, because his income doubled six years in a row. <laughs> You'd be laughing all the way to the bank, too. He blows me away. I mean, he just blows my mind constantly. Because he somehow solved one of life's biggest puzzles. It pays the bills, and a bit more. <laughs> How to get paid for doing something you love. I guess you could quit your day job. <laughs> I did quit my day job. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, CBS News 8. <laughs> that is funny.